Well, we've had an exciting few weeks, haven't we? We've been talking about Noah and the Ark and we've been doing some amazing crafts and it's been lovely to see some of those photos. We began by looking at the building of the Ark and the animals and then we had the flood and all the things that happened there and then we ended with this most wonderful idea of the gift of the colours of the rainbow. Well, that got me thinking a little bit about this week's uh, Bible story and I thought of another story that we can find that talks all about colour. So here's today's Bible story, Joseph and his many coloured coat. Well, the story of Joseph begins when he's a small boy. And Joseph is the smallest of a big family. In fact, Joseph had 11 brothers. Can you imagine that? And he was the youngest. Well, in a way, you know, he was at a great disadvantage. Maybe because he was the youngest, his dad loved him so much and tended to favour him of above all the rest. But the other thing that happened was that Joseph was a dreamer. He loved dreaming and he had some very unusual dreams. Of all the things that Joseph really wanted in this world, he wanted a nice new coat. He wanted a coat that was going to shine and have lots and lots of colour in it. And it wasn't going to be an hand-me-down coat from his brothers, as he always had. Well, eventually, one day, his dad called him into the tent. And from underneath a hiding place, he produced for Joseph the most amazing coat. This coat had so many colours in it. Joseph could not believe it. He thought how wonderful he would look in this beautiful coat. The problem was, of course, that his brothers always picked on him. And this was going to make it really difficult. And the other thing his brothers didn't like was that Joseph kept having these dreams. There was one dream that Joseph had where he was gathering in the harvest with his brothers. And they all had piles of wheat in their arm that they cut away and gathered. And as they were holding the wheat out, 11 of these little bundles of wheat bowed to Joseph's bundle of wheat. And there was another thing that happened. Joseph had another dream and in this dream there was 11 stars shining in the sky. There was a sun and there was a moon and they all bowed down to Joseph. And you know, Joseph was so excited about these dreams, he made a big mistake. He decided he would tell his brothers about all of these things while wearing their nice, shiny new coat. Well, one day when the 11 brothers and Joseph were out of the house and into the fields, They suddenly said to one another, get him. And there was a fight that broke out and Joseph tried to defend himself. And in doing so, his new coat got torn. Imagine that. And on top of everything else, he got cuts and bruises. And there was blood splattered all over his brand new coat 
not looking very new at all. And then his brothers did something else. They found a well, a deep hole. It hadn't got any water in it. But they decided that that was going to be where they were going to put Joseph, teach him a lesson. And so a poor Joseph, bruised and battered, without his brand new coat, was down this dry well. Well, after a while, he could hear his brothers talking to one another and it wasn't good news. Some of them were saying, Dad will go mad when he hears what we've done. We can't go on without telling him the truth. What are we going to do? Joseph will tell him everything and then we'll all be in trouble. So they started to plot. Some thought it best to just leave him down the well. But others thought, you know, we might have to kill him and get it over and done with. And just as they were talking to one another, Joseph was getting so worked up about it, there was another voice, a strange voice with a strange accent. He wasn't sure where it was coming from, but he heard his brothers talking. Hey, one of them said, um, we know where you can buy a slave for 20 silver pieces. Just 20 silver pieces. That's a bargain for a slave. And so the man agreed and they shook hands on it. And Joseph was taken out of that well and placed on the back of the camel. Well, you know, it was a very sad day. Joseph's brothers then had to go back home and they showed Joseph's father the torn coat. And they showed him where all the blood was over it. And they said to him, we're sorry, father, but Joseph is dead. Well, his father, was so upset and cried and cried and so we're going to end that story today at that point Joseph the youngest with 11 brothers his dreams his hopes the brand new coat that he desperately wanted all tattered all shattered and Joseph found himself in a very strange country he found himself in Egypt and so his new journey began battered and bruised no more coat of many colours now Joseph was a slave and it was all because his brothers were jealous. And so today's craft. Today's craft is a simple one. It's a model of Joseph. And I'm hoping you have as much fun colouring in the many coloured coat as I did. And you're going to start with a piece of card. You need something stiff, stiff. And we do a simple outline of Joseph. I've made the coat blank at the moment because you can colour it in whatever way you wish. And make sure that you've got some paper at the end so that we can use that to help Joseph stand at the end. So when you've started colouring Joseph in, in his many colours, you should get something a bit like this. I haven't finished this yet. I'm looking forward to finishing it with some glitter and some nice sparkly bits. And then right in the middle here, I've made a cut. And then I've taken a long piece of card and I've made it about the long, same size as the cut. And then we put the two together. 
and hopefully we get our Joseph in his many splendid coloured coat standing up proud of this wonderful gift. I look forward to seeing your pictures of Joseph and his coat. I wonder how many ways we can decorate it. And so we end, as always, with our time of prayer. So let's take our two hands and we kiss the first one and the second one. And with this one, we think we say thank you for all of our favourite things, especially those things that have lovely colours in them. It might mean you have a special coat or a special T-shirt or something that just is bright and cheerful. And on the other hand, let us pray that we can be helped, be generous, and not to be jealous of those things other people have. Be thankful for what we do have. So let's place our hands together. And so, Heavenly Father, open our eyes to the many things that you have given to us. The beautiful colours, the clothes that we wear, the shoes that we have, the coats that we put on. And we thank you for all of those things and how they can make us feel. And we pray now, Lord, for all of those people that aren't happy because they want what someone else has got. Help them to count their blessings and realise all that you have given to them. In the big things and the little. Amen. So now we blow those prayers up to God and leave them with you. Well, it's been really lovely being able to share with you today. And have you noticed, I'm not in my study this week. This week, I'm in one of my churches. This is St Peter's Church in Cotswold. I hope you've enjoyed being in here with me and seeing how beautiful this church is. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Have a great week. Bye.